what's good what's good what's good family so i was just sitting here thinking man and i know a lot of my videos have been pretty much all over the place and everything like that but i'm just saying thinking knocking out some tasks for work and um hopefully i can let me turn like this working on some tasks for work and stuff and i was just like man like it was it's a lot of stuff that a lot of events that lead up to you ultimately like landing a position that you deserve or getting in a place that you deserve like i don't know how long this video gonna be i don't know when i'm gonna post this video i don't know where i'm gonna post this video but i just want to say to the people who one just got a refusal letter for a job that you really wanted one the person who going through a course and you fail like the people who you just lost your job and you've been applying for a job in tech sales for like a long time like let me see if i can fix my brightness a little bit there we go for the people who like really you've been doing this for a minute and you losing like i want to say to you keep going keep going and i don't want to be cliche and sound like the people who just say keep going keep going keep fighting through let me actually tie it in with a story so i was going through an interview process with a certain company they did make me sign an nda so i don't know if i can talk about the specifics of anyway going through an interview process with a specific company and uh, I just knew for a fact that I was going to get the job it was perfect it was exactly what I was looking for I was like man I want this job I want this job I got to the final interview and uh, <laughs> a YouTube channel like this will really probably uh, put me in some trouble but I want to build y'all so anyway uh, so when I actually went into this final interview uh, the guy that I was having an interview with was late and, uh, the vibe was just off and uh, one of the things you really want to pay attention to is the vibe of things and the vibe was just off and I was like I will just get through it let me make sure I put my best foot forward because this is the final step you know when it comes to ultimately landing the job and I was like, okay, put my best foot forward. But after the interview, I just felt a disconnect. And I was just like, did he make his decision already? That's what that's what was going through my head after the interview. And then a few days later, I got the denial letter myself. But what I did in that process was after I was denied for that job, I was like, you know what? Let me spend some time. Like I said, I said, you know what? I'm gonna be faithful. Like I'm gonna believe that the job is still mine because I, why wouldn't they hire me? But I was like, okay, I'm gonna fill out another twenty interviews today, just in case. Another twenty, not interviews, applications, just in case. So while filling out those other applications. I, it was just something like that just clicked or something that hit me I was going through filling out the applications and then the company that I worked for turn it around real quick yes sir turn it back the company that I worked for when that entered when that application popped up I was like I don't think I qualify for this one let me not apply so then I figured out, filled out all the rest, and then that one I left it up still, and I was like, you know what? Let me make them tell me I don't qualify instead of disqualifying myself. So that's one of the things I want y'all to make sure that y'all pay attention to. Don't be the person disqualifying yourself. Make sure it's somebody else. Like put the pressure on them. So I went through those, filled out those applications. Two days later, 
got an email back from the uh, one of the recruiters and uh, told me that I didn't get the job and I just felt so defeated like I felt so freaking defeated I was like why what why would this happen like why would they but one of the great things that happened which is why you must continue to press forward and also be conscious and paying attention to certain situations my final interview was Tuesday no my final interview was Monday I got a uh, word back from the company that I work for now on Tuesday that they wanted to interview me that upcoming Friday and I was like okay so I scheduled that interview I heard back from the first company on Wednesday saying that they are like not going to go forward with me so what I'm saying is like look at interviews when you get far in the process when you get near the end and they're like um we we we, we decided to go with somebody else it was a close this is exactly what they said it was a close discussion it was tight but we decided to go with the other person and my whole thing was like they opened another position like they were still actively hiring so I was like why would it be so close like you really were fighting tooth and nail between choosing a person when you got two positions you can actually fill multiple but my reason for it and I'm not coming up here to complain or cry or anything but just to let you know it takes steps to get to the place that you actually want to be at all of those interviews that you're going through you're basically building the muscle for that one game that one moment that one company that actually believes in you you build in the muscle you build in the muscle you got to go through put in the time put in the work and then when your time actually comes it's going to flow so naturally like that final interview was just my final interview with my my the company i've decided to go with it was so smooth it was so fluent like everything was just working everything was just going well but that's just because I went through those steps. I fell, and I fell, and I fell, but I also continued to press forward. Just a little rant, like I said, I'm sitting here about to edit some videos, and I was just like, man, I really gotta tell people about this because, like, I'm really sitting here working for, like, just to be real with y'all, my goal was, I was like, man, I want a sales job. This is what I said to myself at the beginning of the year. I want a sales job working from home. I want a normal schedule. I want a normal life. Like with my previous job, it was my schedule was decent, you know what I'm saying? Because they were working with me, but it was pretty much Tuesday through Saturday, one to eight thirty. But in retail you don't control the time you leave. So it's like you can stay longer. And I was getting home like nine thirty, nine o'clock coming home to my family we waking up to go to the gym at six o'clock like it was just insane and i was just like i want something normal like i want weekends with my girl like, i remember we there was a, a taco festival in town and i was just like bro i want to i want to be doing this and we actually went that morning but i had to go to work that night and it was just like i want something different so i wrote down on paper i was like i want me a sales job working from home making at least 52 a year base base pay 52 a year and it was just it's so it's so crazy how god works man where like you put what it is that you want out there and he actually gives you more and it was just then one of the more specific things too was i was like i want a laptop i don't want a desktop i want to be able to it worked i'm telling you so there's just service, inspiration for somebody. Like like I said in the beginning, you probably just got that denial letter. You probably just got fired. You probably, on your last month of savings, like you on a spot, you in a bond. But I promise you, I promise you, just keep on going. I'm a living testimony. Keep on going. 
from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Videos like this will continue to come. i just been away from YouTube so long. It feels so good to be pouring back into y'all. But with much love. Peace.